Kratos, where are you off to today? <laughs> Kill any family members lately? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 binge worthy video game franchises. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data pad open much longer. Crash, you need to call. For this list, we'll be looking at the best gaming franchises that are easy to blast through with relatively few entries or shorter playtimes. Which video game series is your favorite to binge? Let us know in the comments below. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. If you're a gamer who loves Lego and Star Wars, check out our fun-filled new channel, Brick Mojo. Nice knowing you. Come have a laugh with us and enjoy daily bite-sized videos on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. You must enact an ancient ritual. <laughs> you pick it a real speed, don't you? <laughs> See you there. Number 10, Mass Effect series. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. No shade to Andromeda, but we're mainly talking about the original trilogy here. While each entry in BioWare's sci-fi RPG series is pretty lengthy, their supreme world-building, characters, and focus on player choice definitely makes them binge-worthy. Mass Effect is a must-play for anyone craving a deep narrative. With so many unique alien races and such enthralling lore, it's impossible not to be entranced. As it has far fewer entries than many other RPG franchises, and since the trilogy's bundle released in 2021, it's much easier to jump into. Every decision you make carries over to the next game, giving you a personal experience that makes you want to keep going. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Number 9. Batman Arkham Series Batman, what's going on? The crazies are moving towards the medical facility. What's Joker doing? He's trying to take over the island piece by piece. Any gamer that loves superheroes probably inhales the Arkham series as quickly as possible. Rocksteady's trilogy flows so well between each installment. It's like it was designed to be one giant endeavor. Beginning with one fateful visit to Arkham Asylum and ending with an all-out war in Gotham City, the series leads you from one tantalizing mystery to the next. What? Did you think it was gonna be that easy? Well, think again, loser! Batman's rogues gallery is expertly showcased. Every character is supremely voiced, and there are so many secrets stuffed in that it will make you feel like a detective yourself. Of course, it helps that awesome gameplay makes every enemy encounter exciting. It's one of the best superhero adaptations of any medium, and it's sure to keep you playing. You know, you see a lot in this job, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. But I'll never forget taking a witness statement from an eight-year-old boy who'd just seen his parents gunned down. You were kind, Jim. Number 8. Resident Evil Series Ugh. Resident Evil has more entries than most franchises, but as many of them are spin-offs, and a couple see a dip in quality, you can pick and choose which one you want to binge through. Plus, while there is some engaging world building, the overarching narrative isn't what makes the franchise a stand out. Binging through Resident Evil is a surefire way to get your heart racing. Leon. You okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. The franchise is overflowing with horrific creature design, despicable villains, and trend-setting thrills. In fact, the toughest part about binging it is not putting the controller down to take a break from the nightmare-inducing imagery. However, it's a horror franchise that we love returning to. Dad, right? You mind if I uh, borrow Bobby for a little bit? Why don't you stand there? Do something! He's at home! 
Number 7. Crash Bandicoot Series <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. When it comes to Crash Bandicoot, there are certainly some entries you can skip after Naughty Dog left as developer. But when it comes to the original games, which were remastered in a 2017 package, they're exceptionally fun action platformers. We'll never grow tired of navigating colorful environments and deadly obstacles to bring the pain to Dr. Neocortex. Each game is a great test of your reaction time, just tough enough to make you want to keep going after each failure. The Insane Trilogy was so well received that we finally got a legit fourth entry in 2020, giving us another wonderful installment to lengthen the binge. <sighs> Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't worry, we have a thing where we fight and he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Number 6. God of War Series Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. The saga of Kratos is soaked in blood and sorrow, and players simply can't get enough. Beginning with the 2005 original, God of War has grown to become one of Sony's most cherished IPs. The way it has adapted Greek and Norse mythology to fit its narrative has been fascinating to watch. It has everything players could want. Deep characters, incredibly violent weapons, and a flawed yet emotionally evolving protagonist. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. Because Kratos is so powerful, and because the gameplay is simple but satisfying, it's something most players can manage. Some of the things Kratos has done may be horrible, but his games are anything but. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Number 5. Halo Series Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. The first Halo revolutionized shooters and helped Microsoft prove itself in the home console market. All these years later, it has become an extraordinary franchise. While it's definitely known for its online multiplayer, most of its campaigns are also wonderful. Like Mass Effect, its sci-fi world has plenty of history to sink your teeth into. However, being an FPS series, it offers a much quicker playthrough. Guess what? They noticed. They all noticed. And we've got a battle structure up ahead. Armored. Very heavily armored. It'll have to wait, I suppose. How close can you get us? The Master Chief Collection holds most games in the series, offering an easily accessible way for players to experience it. All six installments found here, as well as Halo 5, provide co-op missions that bring another level of fun to Halo's level of binge. You know me. When I make a promise. You keep it. Number 4. Devil May Cry Series For action-packed hack-and-slash demon-slaying mayhem, it doesn't get much better than this. What started as a failed Resident Evil game grew to be one of Capcom's most enduring series. Following the demon hunter Dante, each installment pits the player against increasingly deadlier foes. But unlike Resident Evil, we aren't scared in the slightest to take them on. As long as we've got Dante's weapons and abilities, we'll be just fine. How about The franchise has some of the best combo mechanics around, and every game gets more insane with its plot and characters. Additionally, the older entries have been remastered and ported to a variety of platforms, making it easy for new players to track down and binge. Good. Finally made it. Now, 
about that payback. Number three, any Telltale game series. Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. Yes, we're lumping a lot of games together, but the fact remains that you could pick up any of Telltale's games and find some enjoyment. By now, there is a vast variety of stories to choose from, whether you're a fan of Batman, Borderlands, Game of Thrones, or The Walking Dead. Each brings something new to its respective IP, and each episode's ending usually includes an element that makes you want to jump straight into the next one. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. You can play them on just about any platform around. And since they're mostly comprised of point-and-click adventure gameplay, they're perfect for players of any skill level. If you want to further explore the world of a popular property, Telltale has you covered. Now, Bossa Nova, you know what I'm searching for. Tell me where it is. Number 2. Bioshock Series No! No! You have shown kindness to my little one, but are you really a friend to us? The first Bioshock took the FPS genre by storm when it was released in 2007. Part of it was thanks to its stellar mechanics and FPS requirement. A more important part was how it showcased the immense power of setting and storytelling in a way few did. Each entry in the trilogy is endlessly fun to play and therefore binge due to the creative power that plasmids or vigors can offer. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. But it goes beyond that. There's a sense of allure and mystery present, whether you're exploring Rapture below the sea or Columbia above the clouds. Though it hasn't seen a new entry since 2013, it impressively is still predominant in conversations about fantastic FPS campaigns. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bayonetta series, another fantastic hack and slash franchise. Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you, for free. My dad, do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg sobbing like a schoolboy? This is why I can't have good things. Gears of War series. Incredible third-person shooter gameplay and plenty of nasty enemies to slay. Ratchet and Clank series. Action platforming with a highly unique arsenal. <sighs> you scared me. I'd let you rest, but we don't have a lot of time. You got here quickly. Thank you. They took Ratchet and Kit through that door. Something about maximum security. Number one, Uncharted series. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. Good, because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. There are few game franchises that can pull you in with a call of adventure the way Uncharted does. From the depths of the Amazon rainforest to the western ghats of India, we've marveled at the escapades of Nathan Drake and his treasure-seeking allies.
Its gameplay doesn't change too much, which actually makes it easier to jump from one game to the next. Naughty Dog has rightfully been praised for the level of storytelling in its games. While Uncharted has borrowed from the overall adventure genre, it also has incredibly charming characters at its heart and engaging plots that could make even the slightest history buff happy. Just talking about it makes us want to jump back in for what must be the 100th time. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? So much for the car. <laughs> Come on. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.